Live from the News Center, this is News Channel 7 at noon. On your side. On the 7 on your side medical watch, the Food and Drug Administration has approved a new vaccine that is encouraging for women in the fight against cervical cancer. Dr. John Rothman is an expert on what this could mean for you. Dr. Rothman, thanks for joining us. Good morning. Put into perspective for me, if you can, just how large a problem cervical cancer is and how many women must deal with this form of the disease. Cervical cancer is the leading, second leading cancer killer of women worldwide, and it's the first leading cancer killer of women below the age of 50 worldwide, although the incidence rate in the United States is substantially less due to pap smears, early detection, and early treatment. It is a, uh, a disease you mentioned about early detection. Is it something, if caught in time, can be dealt with? Yes, uh, that's the whole purpose behind pap smears. Cells detected in pap smears that indicate a uh, carcinogenic process is going on can be detected and lead to early treatment, which is why we've been successful in the U.S. in reducing the incidence rate considerably. Now, what does this new vaccine do exactly? The uh, vaccine that was approved last week by Merck and another one like it by GSK, which is following behind, are prophylactic vaccines for HPV, human papilloma virus. This is a virus that's believed to cause cervical cancer. Um, human papilloma virus is a very common sexually transmitted virus that's found in the gene pool uh, in humans. and. Um, the new vaccines are intended to treat women before they've been exposed to the virus in order that they not get the virus. If they don't get the virus, they then won't get the cancer. What else is being worked on right now? We at Advaxis are developing a therapeutic vaccine called Levaxin C for cervical. This is a vaccine that is intended to treat women who already have the cancer. These are women who have been exposed to HPV, who have the cancer, and um, for whom the prophylactic vaccines would not work. All right, Dr. John Rothman, thank you very much for your information today, and it was a pleasure having you with us. Thank you very much.